Humus is a valuable component of good soils, and humic acid can be defined as a complex mixture of organic acids produced by the decomposition of vegetable or animal matter. Humic acid tends to be higher in soils with lots of organic matter breaking down over time, such as in jungles and other forests. And organic farmers and gardeners rely on soil with good amounts of it to help produce lush, abundant crops without the need for chemical fertilizers. Humic acid is closely related to another acid called fulvic acid, and although the two are technically different, they occur together in nature and are similar, and therefore the terms are used interchangeably for the most part. In addition to being a valuable component of soil, humic or fulvic acid is also used as a supplement. People take it for a variety of reasons, such as to help transport nutrients into cells, balance the microbiome, oxygenate the blood, boost immunity, quell inflammation, and detoxify the body. Aware of humic acid's amazing ability to assist in detoxification, researchers from China decided to test how effective it was at reducing the environmental toxicity of a substance called graphene oxide, or GO for short. It turns out that in recent years, graphene oxide's wide production and application have inevitably caused its release into the aquatic ecosystem. In one study, they found that humic acid significantly relieved phytotoxicity in wheat roots caused by graphene, apparently in part by reducing the aggregation of graphene and also by enhancing the storage of it in something called vacuoles. They suggest the innovative concept that humic acid acts as a natural antidote to graphene in vivo, or in other words, within a living organism. A second study found that graphene oxide induced toxicity in two separate ocean species, and then discovered that humic acid reduced the acute toxicity to both species by significant percentages. And in a third study, they confirmed graphene oxide's toxicity in regard to zebrafish embryos, and found that humic acid decreased the damage, quote, by regulating the morphology, structures, and surface negative charges of GO. Additionally, humic acid decreased the aggregation of GO in embryonic yolk cells and deep layer cells and mitigated the mitochondrial damage and oxidative stress induced by graphene oxide. This study also cites humic acid as a potential antidote for GO. Now I have absolutely no idea why you would need to detox from graphene oxide, so let's just chalk this video entirely up to theory. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.